All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all glory, honor, and praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the apostle elders of Great Millstone who rule well. And salutations to all you brothers out there who are pushing this word in love, truth, sincerity, and humility. Once again, it's the brother Shot there from the Chicago camp. Coming back to you with what I hope was another quick and edifying sit down. And I'm not sure if I want to call this a part three, but this is a continuation of this huge scandal involving all these uh, Edomites in this college racketeering scheme. And I just so happened to find this today as I was looking at these articles. And it's funny because I was talking to my woman about this uh, yesterday. And it says class action lawsuit filed against eight colleges in admissions bribery scandal that nabbed businesses, CEOs and Felicity Huffman. OK, published four hours ago by Dan Magan and Emma Newberger. And the article goes to say that a class action civil lawsuit has been filed by two California college students against eight top universities in connection with the massive college admissions bribery scandal that has already led to federal criminal charges earlier this week against TV stars Felicity Huffman and Lori Lawlin, as well as against top businesses and legal executives. The suit filed in U.S. District Court for the Northern District of California by Stanford University students Erica Olson and Kayla Woods accuses each of the universities of being negligent and failing to maintain adequate protocols and security measures in places to guarantee the sanctity of the college admission process. Hey, I told my woman this yesterday. I told her, watch what I say. Now, any student who was trying to apply to these colleges during the time that they had this investigation or if they can prove that at the time they were going to try to get into this college and one of these offspring of these rich Edomites were going there and they didn't get a spot, these students have a class action lawsuit and they are going to get paid. And lo and behold, you got it right here. And it says, continuing on, it says, and the suit, which claims more than $5 million in damages, says that as a result of the scheme, unqualified students found their way into the admission roles of highly selective university, while those students who played by the rules and did not have college bribing parents were denied admission. And that's the thing. He, bad Uncle Esau, who is the so-called white man, he can't even abide by his own rules. Hey, but let me see if I, I can find it. Let me see if I can bring it up. Hopefully my Wi-Fi lasts while I do this. Well, this is a good one, too. This wasn't the one I was looking for, but. It says. Exodus 23 and 2. Thou shall not follow a multitude to do evil. That's what these Edomites did. All right. 
They say, hey, I know a guy who who knows a guy. You can get this done and get that done. Get your child into college. Hey, that's following a multitude to do evil. Neither shalt thou speak in a cause to decline after many to rest judgment. All right. You speaking in a way that's going to as that that paragraph said. Let me read that again. All right. Says that unqualified students found their way into the admissions role of highly selective university while those students who played the by the rules and did not have college bribing parents were denied admission amen so you rest in judgment away from the poor and the needy okay now ultimately that pertains to the truth but the scripture is manifold all right you have a lot of poor and needy people who rightfully deserve the opportunity to be in these places. But as this paragraph said, they got rich parents. Although there are currently only two named plaintiffs in the suit, the action would ultimately include potentially thousands of students as plaintiffs, if not more, if the case is granted class action status by a judge, which it will, okay? Which it will, because this is something that as I said in the previous video, this is something that as a whole in this country, it doesn't matter what your nationality is, what, what you practice as your spiritual outlet. This country, the people as a whole, still believe in the concept of you get what you work for, pull yourself up by your bootstraps, be a follow the rules, be an upstanding citizen, and your hard work will be rewarded. The majority of these people in the country still believe in that. Maybe not all, but the majority of the people still believe in that concept. And as I said before, for this to come out puts a huge stain on everything. Because was as I said in the previous one, what's going to happen is now that all of these parents, all of these children are going to get met with a barrage of hate and shame and resentment for many people. Because they know for a fact now, they have, they might have had a suspicion or they probably genuinely didn't know. But regardless of whichever one it is, they now know for a fact that you are a piece of crap who did not earn your way. You don't deserve your right to say that you accomplished something because you didn't you paid to get it you didn't work for it you didn't sacrifice for it. you didn't put in the dues and therefore you can't fix your mouth to say you deserve this or you are this the only thing you can fix your mouth to say is i ain't shit and nothing that's what these people are going to get met with and it says Defendants in the lawsuit are Yale University, the University of Southern California, Stanford University, UCLA, the University of San Diego, the University of Texas, Wake Forest, University of Georgetown University. Hey, man, these are well reputable schools. Very well reputable schools. And hey, you got all this coming out during the time of March Madness? <sighs> man. Hey Amen. That this is what you get when you have all these dumb high IQ people working together. I mean, high IQ people working together. Sorry about that. It said also named as defendants are William Rick Singer and his college preparatory business, the Edge College and Career Network, who has pleaded guilty. Yeah, we read all that. The suit claims. The suit claims that universities named as defendants knew or should have known of these corrupt practices because of the funds, because the funds that were being used as bribes to gate admittance 
for the children of wealthy parents were often going to university accounts and to prominent university figures such as coaches and directors in charge of university accounts. Hey, man, anybody who has something to do with this racketeering thing going down, the pr anybody who's the president, anybody who's on the board of directors, okay, principals, teachers, coaches, accountants, lawyers, people in banks, hey, man, they, they, all, they all getting slapped upside the head. It's, it's just the way it has to be. Let me see how much is, is left in this article. Hey, this, wow. It said a spokesman for the University of Texas said, like many students and families across the country, we are also outraged that parents outside actors and universities employees may have committed fraud surrounding admissions at universities. University of Texas has a, a thorough holistic admissions process, which is a lie. And it says the actions alleged by federal prosecutors against the UT employee were not in line with that policy and may have been criminal, the spokesman said. They do not reflect our admissions process. Yes, it does. Yeah, it says this lawsuit comes on the heels of a tsunami of media coverage of the desperate criminal charges against desperate housewives star Huffman and Full House actress Lawlin, as well as against the other well heeled defendants. Mm, paying for SAT scores. Wow. Manuel Enriquez of Hercules Capital on Wednesday voluntarily stepped aside as chairman and CEO, effective immediately in the wake of charges he participated in the $25 million college admissions cheating scheme. Federal investigators dubbed their probe Operation Varsity Blues. Yeah, so you got. Yeah, I mean it's. Wow, yeah, you brothers just gotta read these articles because this is, this is a lot of damning information. But, hey, we're in the end of times, man, and this is, this is the stuff that's. exposing bad uncle Esau who is the so-called white man let me get a few scriptures and we'll close this out uh, <laughs> Spelled that wrong. Okay. Psalm sixty nine and twenty two. Now this is pertaining to, to uh wicked ass Jakes, but you could also apply this to bad Uncle Esau. Okay. It says, Let their table become a snare before them. And that which should have been for their welfare, let it become a trap. Right. Let their own wicked devices be their downfall. And their wicked devices is coming in the form of uh, of the FBI busting all these jokers with a RICO Act. Not only that, you having these two uh, students come back to file a class action lawsuit and hey, you better believe there's going to be a whole lot more students filing class action lawsuits against these uh these colleges okay and, and against any other entity 
that was involved in obscuring judgment. Because as I said before, this thing is far from being over. Far from being over. Esau, all the dirt. You know what? Let me get that too. It's in the New Testament. I'm gonna give it one more try. I can't find it, but it talks about that what's done in the dark is eventually going to come to light. I can't find it, but that's what you have going on with this college scheme. And now you got these students filing a class action lawsuit. Hey, man, everything that this devil is hiding is coming to light. And it's being met with serious consequences. Okay, they may not be, as I said before, going to get hit with the jail time and punishment like a Jake is going to be. But what's happening is that 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 image that bad Uncle Esau portrays as being holier than thou, having this high IQ and, and presenting this this illusion. Of, of America, this myth of America, that this is the land of opportunity, that his image is just being torn down, torn down, and torn down, and torn down to the point where, hey man, this, this devil can't fight back. Okay, he's trying hard, but he's done. This guy's reputation is done. This is not the last that you're going to hear about this. I guarantee you, we'll be hearing a lot more about this scandal well into the late stages of 2019. Lord willing, we still ain't here, but, you know, nonetheless, you're still going to be hearing a lot of dirt. A lot of dirt regarding this. So, uh, wow. Yeah, it's, I mean, sorry I, if, if I kind of rambled on, but that, that's just some things I wanted to say about it. But nonetheless, I hope you all were edified. And so, uh, once again, I want to give all glory, honor, and praises to you. How about Shai, double honor to the apostle elders, a great millstone who grew well. And salutations to all you brothers out there pushing this word in love, truth, sincerity, and humility. With that, we're going to say Shalom.